beautiful people it's your boy Gideo and I'm back again with a new video today we're going to be checking out another request that came from you this one is titled Sochi Russia 4k city it's gonna be my first time seeing this one but I think it's gonna be good so without wasting your time let's get to it in this video we're gonna talk about Sochi Sochi not Sochi Sochi this is the main Russian resort Sochi has always been the center of attention since the Soviet times. It's the only oh. subtropical resort in Russia, so no wonder it gets crowded during the summertime. Oh, that's beautiful. Where is Sochi located? On the northeast coast of the Black Sea, 1600 kilometers south of Moscow. Quite far from Moscow. For the last 10 years, Sochi has been rapidly developing thanks to the 2014 Olympics here. Today, the population of the city is 424,000 people. That's not Sochi a lot. enjoys a mild subtropical climate and a perfect location on the Black Sea coast. The Caucasus Mountains protect the city from cold winds during the winter, and the Black Sea cools it down during the summer. Hmm. Sochi is called the Russian Riviera because it's on the same latitude as Nice and Monte Carlo. Here you will find the northernmost tea plantations in the world. See the houses, beautiful. Once they thought it was impossible to grow tea on these latitudes, but it turned out it is possible. And today there are several large tea plantations. Hmm. Wanna have a cup of Russian tea? The road system has been completely transformed. What's a Russian tea brand? Yeah, can you tell me at least one? After visiting like the Korean try. city of Busan, I never thought I would see something like this in Russia. But look at it. Numerous tunnels through the mountains, multi-level bridges and excellent roads. Hmm. Excited? You bet. Clean. Somewhere driving along the coast. I was wondering, am I really in Russia? I love these views. The city now has a new international airport. From Moscow to get to Sochi by plane is about two, two and a half hours. The main railroad station is a masterpiece of architecture. City transportation includes taxi, buses and minibuses. The economy is based on tourism, no surprise here, as well as residential construction and retail. No heavy industry as you would find in other Russian cities. Come on, it's a resort town. The average salary is less than the major Russian cities and is just around $500. The Sochi metro area is huge. In fact, it's the second longest city in the world after Mexico. It stretches along the Black Sea coast for 146 kilometers. The central part is the most interesting part of town. Even Vladimir Lenin, the Bolshevik, is having a wonderful time here. <laughs> Palm trees, flowers, fountains, parks and great architecture. Villa Vera, Winter Theater, Sochi Art Museum, and beautiful churches. All churches in Russia are just beautiful. See, I don't know how they build these churches, but uh, the attention to detail is just remarkable. Sochi Seaport is the heart of the city, a place of nice restaurants and expensive shops. Riviera is a city park which has an aquarium and even a dolphinarium. <laughs> Evergreen Arboretum was first opened at the end of the 19th century. It has a unique collection of subtropical flora and fauna. You can relax under the palm trees and even find yourself in a bamboo forest. Well, if that doesn't impress you, you can just lay on the grass and get some vitamin D. A cable car <laughs> right. takes you to the upper part of the Arboretum from where you can enjoy magnificent views of the surroundings. Not far from the railway station, there is a walking street, Nagavinskaya. It is always crowded and busy. Street markets, shops and cafes. You should definitely try some local delicious treats. Different types of church hella. A traditional Georgian candle-shaped candy made of grape must, nuts and flour. Local fruits and spices if you love cooking. In the center everything is nice and peaceful. Many places for recreation. Well, so beautiful, Winter yeah. Theater is one of the most popular venues of the city where they have performances and musicals. Winter the annual theater. Russian Film Festival is also held here. So what about the hotel prices in Sochi? Well, for as little as $50, you can expect to get a room like this. With nice views too. You know nice what I'm saying, it's worth the money. 
And I think you get what you pay for it. Yeah, $50 is not a lot for What are some cool like things that. to do while you're in Sochi? You can visit U Boxwood Grove, a fantastic place. One of those relic forests which have remained unchanged since the prehistoric time. In the forest you will see a large number of endangered plants. This is a unique natural place. You'll find Stalin's Sochi Villa. Funny how the dictator loved basking in the sun while sending his own people to the labor camps of Siberia. In the eastern part of the city you'll find Sochi Olympic Park which was constructed for the 2014 Winter Olympics. Sochi Olympics is by, views, by far the most Ooh. expensive Olympics ever. While originally budgeted at 12 billion, the budget then expanded to 50 billion, even surpassing the 44 billion 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing. The Olympic Park houses the main Olympic Stadium used for the game ceremonies and the venues that were used for indoor sports such as hockey, figure skating, curling and speed skating as well as the Sochi Autodrome, a 5.8 km Formula 1 racing street circuit around the Sochi Olympic Park. Wow. Nearby is an amusement park for kids, it's gonna be Sochi so Park, to see. a thick coaster. Yeah, this is one thing I'm never gonna do. You definitely should visit Emeritinsky Boardwalk. It's a great place for walks and bike rides. It's hard to imagine that this place didn't exist just a few years ago. It's a 7 km long boardwalk along the coast, all the way to the border with Abkhazia, a breakaway region of Georgia. Amazing! There are many bicycle rental places and cafes, and a huge beach. Wow, so nice! And very clean. In the mountains you have a ski resort called Krasnaya Poliana or Red Valley, located at an altitude of 550 meters above sea level. The road to Krasnaya Poliana takes 30 to 40 minutes. This is a small village surrounded by mountains and looks more like an American suburb or Europe. What's the cost of buying a house around here? Must be quite expensive because of the scenery, right? Everything is beautiful around here. And Pure quiet. mountain air, wonderful landscapes, so peaceful and quiet. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine that the beach is just 38 kilometers away. You can book a tour on horses in the mountains, visit waterfalls and lakes. That's scary. If you though. have some extra time, visit the trout farm. Hey, right now we're in the forest of Krasna and Poliana and as you can see there's a waterfall behind me and there's plenty of these and now we're going for three more so far it's been a beautiful day and wonderful nature many wealthy Russian people prefer to live here yeah it's like it's close to Whistler if you have heard of Whistler British Columbia kind of looks like this city very beautiful place too there are three huge ski resorts, Rosa Hooter, Gorky Gord, and Gazprom. Rosa Hooter is a resort village built for the Olympics. The resort has three levels. On the ground along the Mzimta River, there are hotels and restaurants. On the next level, there is a mountain Olympic village. And on the top, you have Rosa Peak. 2.3 kilometers above the sea level. Let's welcome to Sochi. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm from England. Uh, we visited Sochi because there's sun here. <laughs> we are working in Kazan currently as teachers. Wow, very cool. What brings you to Sochi? My name is Mary. I'm from Florida. I'm from the US. And we came to Sochi to bungee jump, basically. <laughs> yeah, I bungeed the 69 meters. It was oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hey, uh, my name is Sharif. I'm from Egypt. Uh, we're here. Everybody, different parts of the world. To just enjoy the nature and do the bungee jump and the skydiving and everything. I would like to visit, but I'm never doing bungee jumping. Never. That thing is scary. What if that road breaks? In the summertime, there are so many things to do here. Mountain climbing, mountain biking, and other things. I would prefer mountain biking. Yeah, that's my thing. Nearby is the Extreme Sky Park. 
mountaintop thrill park offering bungee jumping, zip lines, and a pedestrian suspension bridge. Bungee 207 is the craziest thing you can do here. <laughs> Jump from a height of 207 meters. This brave girl no way. will show us how it's properly done. She didn't even scream. <laughs> no oh, wow. way. Never In addition, that. there Sorry. is the world's highest swing, it. zip line, and much more. The founder of the place is a New Zealander. I met one of the members of his crew in Krasna Poliana and asked him a few questions. G'day everybody, good morning, sunny Krasna Poliana. I'm Andrew, I'm working at Sky Park here in Searchy. Hope you'll come down and see us pretty soon. How do you like it here, man? I love it, sometimes. How long have you lived here? <laughs> Four and a half years. Really? Uh, yeah. That's really impressive. Yeah, nah, it's, uh, it's an interesting place to live for a foreigner. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's difficult. But I mean, that's every place, like place right? So it's a pretty <laughs> magical place, eh? Oh, yes it is? Oh, yes it is. Can you tell us a little bit about your park? Oh, a little bit. I haven't got much time in a day for that one. It's a big park, pretty unique here in Russia. We've got some uh, some pretty cool activities. One of the biggest bungee jumps in the world, 207 meters. Got a pretty awesome bridge across the valley. Biggest swing in the world, 170 meters. Yeah. Awesome crew, awesome location. And uh, you gotta see it to believe it pretty much. Eh? All right, yeah. well done. Sochi Casino and Resort is the first casino here. The entrance is free. It's a real tourist center, like it has everything to attract tourists. The best thing for locals about having a casino around here is that they get to see some pop stars that come here from time to time. It looks expensive too. <laughs> There are a lot of nationalities living in Sochi. Russians, Armenians, Ukrainians, Georgians, and many more. <laughs> you can try Georgian cuisine like Kinkali, popular Georgian dumplings made of twisted knobs of dough stuffed with meat and spices. Kachapuri is a traditional Georgian dish of cheese field bread and local seafood. Fresh fruit, fresh meat, and flavorful cheeses. The Olympics brought glamour and luxury to Sochi, and now the residential real estate market is very diverse. Look at this house, it's in Sochi. And look at this one, it is also in Sochi. <laughs> Which one do you like more? It depends on your, your pocket size. <laughs> what about these houses? Are these California villas? No, they're Sochi villas. A house like this costs around $3 million. Locals think that mm -hmm. it takes way more than just working hard to afford a house like that in Russia. What are some cool things to do in Sochi? Go to the beach, of course. Almost all beaches in Sochi are pebble beaches. Some local sites you might want to check out. Mount Ahun with an observation tower which offers a wonderful view of the area and wow. the picturesque Sochi National Park. That's higher from the ground. Take a walk to the city port and have a romantic tour on a yacht admiring the sunset and the bright skyline of the city. Yeah, nice place for In a honeymoon. In the port you got yachts of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> Some locals say that one of these could belong to... You know what I mean. Ever since the Olympics, unprecedented security measures have been taken. A dozen warships are always on the alert, and even beluga whales have been brought to the port to track unwanted guests underwater. Sochi has some 66 health resorts. People from all over the country come here to improve their health. Sochi National Park occupies 80% of the territory of the Great Sochi. In Krasna Poliana, they have a safari park where you can find deer and European bison, wolves and lynx you can become a sponsor for some of these animals. It has always wanted to become an international resort, but it hasn't been exactly working out. Why? Well, first, the logistics are complicated. For Europeans to get to Sochi is so much more difficult than to come to Portugal or Spain. And second, many foreigners still think Russia is dangerous. What are some cons of Sochi? 
The climate, although it's warm, but it's very rainy. It's Sochi is one of the rainiest cities in Russia. In October 2018, a bridge was washed away by the water. A major bridge connecting Sochi with the rest of Russia. Hmm. The city is very hilly. There are places where you can drive a passenger car without damaging the bumper. Local people say corruption level in Sochi is at a level significantly higher than the national average. Well, there's money. Sochi is a beautiful place. Yeah, money brings Cypress corruption, Cypress trees right? and palm trees growing along the roads. Sochi is a unique city for Russia, a sort of Russian Miami. Pretty much the only city where it's warm all year round. Tell me it's what you think about Sochi round. after watching this video. Or maybe you've already been to Sochi. Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and don't forget to share this video if you like it. Well, I didn't think any city in Russia was warm all the way around because Russia has a city that has minus 71 degrees. <laughs> well, wow, that's good to know. I learn every day. That was a very good video. Sochi, nice place. My best place to visit or my first choice was St. Petersburg. Well, now I think I kind of like Sochi. <laughs> yeah, Sochi is very, very nice. It's very similar to Whistler. I don't know if you guys know Whistler in British Columbia. But it's quite similar. They have almost the same kind of events and similar landscape. That was a good video. Let me know what you guys think of it. And if you want us to bring more videos like this to the channel, feel free to let me know in the comment section. This is the end of this one. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.